Hey YouTubers, if you want to say one drunk hole here once again. And since Godzilla has finally come on to uh, DVD and Blu-ray, blah blah blah, I thought I was only right to review it. Now I don't usually do movie reviews and this isn't really a review and it's going to be full of spoilers so to anyone who hasn't seen it, don't watch this video. I'm going to spoil, I'm pretty much spoiling the entire movie. Now, this is going to be the four main problems with Godzilla. Now, there might be more. I might be nitpicking. But I see four big-ass problems with this movie. Number one. The military are fucking idiots in this scene. This whole movie, they're idiots. And I don't mean, I don't mean regular uh, military incompetence. I'm thinking about it's, it's another extreme level of military incompetence in movies. Now, I don't know why Hollywood continues to portray us, like, I don't know why Hollywood continues to portray uh, American gun, American armies as this incompetent because one we spend four ch we spend more on military than four the other countries combined so we take our national security very seriously <clears throat> and to what I and the main prop and the main problem with the military is that they don't fucking do anything I mean, when Godzilla and those two monsters, who are the fuck they were, had, they were converging on San Francisco. If you look at the timeline, they predicted where they were going to go. This is early in the day. They predicted where they were going to go. They had to come up with a plan, a terrible one, but they had to come up with a plan to try to defeat Godzilla and the other monsters. They had to transport, they had to, they had to transport the bomb, spoiler, that was supposed to defeat Godzilla. And then they still had to make it to New York and set up everything. You had 24 hours to tell the city of San Francisco, Hey, there's monsters. Leave the fucking city. Pack what you need quickly and leave. You had 24 hours to do this. That city would have been all evacuated but by then. By the time those monsters had finally hit shore, it would have been all but been evacuated. So that's really the so that was the main problem with this. So anytime so and what really pissed me off is them con pretty much saying the same line over and over again. We care. We have to protect our citizens. No, you don't. You don't care. You haven't told anyone to leave. If it if monsters actually really started attacking, you don't think that someone with an emergency broadcast system that, that you guys like to test and interrupt shows with and shit that emergency broadcast system that you guys that the government love to test out that that shit wouldn't come on hmm right did you completely forget about that the emergency broadcast system wouldn't come on and say this is official emergency pack up and leave So yeah, the military is incompetent in this movie. Oh yeah, another reason why the military is fucking incompetent. The U.S. military in this movie, at least. Uh, a couple more reasons. For for one thing, the the Jap the fucking Japanese military did a better job at at evacuating people than you. They lied about it, but they got a better job. It's like nuclear. Nuclear reactor, nuclear reactor breach. Run, run for your lives. Don't, don't pack anything. Just run. This city got empty fast, and and it stayed empty. I mean, you know, clearly you're not clearly you don't want San Francisco to stay empty, but they, I mean, they lied about it, but at least they got people to leave. It, it was really quick too. No one died, as far as we know. Well, yeah, someone did that. But let's let's focus on evacuation. Let's say no. Let's say no one died during the evacuation of this thing. But. <clears throat> The mil I mean, the U.S. Mil I mean, the Japanese military did a much better job at evacuating people than our military did in this movie. Why? 
And another reason. Uh, really? A nuke? Why a nuke? Well, of all the things you could have used, a nuke. Just. Why? You guys confirmed that these creatures eat radiation for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Why would you? Why would you think nuking them would do any good? A a nuke a bomb is nothing but a nuclear bomb is nothing but radiation. Why? Why do it? If anything, you just stood to just give them a little snack. That one have done crap. They have fucking idiots throughout this whole night. Number two. The main antagonist protagonist protagonist. The hero of the film is an idiot. This is just a straight up idiot. An idiot and a terrible person. I'm sorry, dude. I love you on cake ass, but I really hate you in this film. And here's the main reason why. Just like the military, you knew what was going on from the beginning. And what do you tell your family? Stay there and wait for me. What? Dude! They're in San Francisco. You know where the monsters are going. How about tell them to get the fuck out of Dodge, huh? You don't tell them to leave. Why? Why do you want them to wait for you? Just on the odd chance that that you guys can just converge for that last scene. You guys can converge for that last scene regardless. You're going to still call up your family afterwards and say, Okay, monsters defeated. Uh, Godzilla won. You guys can come back now. It's like, okay, fine. We drive back. Hell. Nope, tell them to stay there for some dumb ass reason. And side note, the people in this in the in this movie are incompetent too. Okay, the the, the people in this in this thing are incompetent too. When it was in Honolulu, it wasn't a problem. It's like, oh well, it's in Honolulu. It's, it's, it's like a port. It's like halfway across the ocean it's until it gets to Japan. It's like halfway there, so it's not gonna affect us. But it but then a monster attacks Nevada, which is <laughs> fairly close. To California and nobody does crap. No one leaves. No one prepares. What's the thing they say? Head to the bomb sh bomb shelters. Really? Head to the shelters? Y'all should have gotten the fuck out. But I'm, I'm, I, I digress. The the main the hero of this film. And I, I use that term lightly. Hero because he's pretty much fucking useless throughout this film. I mean, the fur I mean, after he tells the military what he knows that the that his father knew what they were going that his father knew about the monsters, he obsessed about them, that whatever blah 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 happened, he gave all the information that he could. That was it. And yet he still kept coming back. Why did you keep coming back, man? That was that didn't make sense. You, I mean, okay, fine, fine. Like you had to find the monsters that attack on a little, that did that did delay your chances of getting home for a little bit. Okay, that that I can understand. That's perfectly reasonable. But you had no reason to go back and volunteer for all those missions, man. All you had to do was go home or call your family and tell them to leave. Even if you couldn't get there in time, your family would have been safe. So you wouldn't have had that you so you wouldn't have had that bother in the back of your head saying that my is my as my wife a kid, okay? You shouldn't be able to think that. If you told them 24 hours earlier like the like the military should have told the city 24 hours earlier that to leave the fucking city then you wouldn't have to worry. It's like, okay, my family's safe. I can do this. Even if you kept doing the wrong decisions, like, you could have just kept going. But nope. Worry about your family the whole time. Great. Fucking idiot. Number three. Why'd you have to dad? Why? Like you have two parent deaths in the first half hour of the show of the movie. Spoiler. 
This is why. I mean, you kill off the mom in the first 15 minutes of the two-hour film. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. I can understand that. I, I mean, I can understand that. Sure. Fine. That, may, I mean, that gave him the reason to be obsessed and to keep going after what was there and blah, blah, blah. Fine. That's totally understandable. But why have him die? He could have been like the Jeff Goldblum of this film. Jeff Goldblum and Jurassic Park are independent. Day. Take a pick. He could have been Jeff Goldblum of this film. It doesn't matter. He could have been Jeff Goldblum. He's totally useful in this situation. He's way more useful than the fucking son. Why kill him off? Who knows? I mean, he's the only guy... I mean, he's, he's really the only one who's helpful in this whole thing. The father could have kept giving him information or could have, used, or could have helped them out in other ways. fucking parent death. And the worst part of Godzilla is... There's not enough Godzilla in this Godzilla movie. Biggest problem is whole film. I can forgive everything else, and I usually don't forgive movies. I don't usually don't forgive movies that make big ass mistakes like this. And there were big ass mistakes, but this is the biggest mistake. There's not enough Godzilla in this fucking Godzilla movie. <clears throat> There's like barely 20 minutes of them, and when you do see him, he's either in the water, you only see a part of him, like his foot or his head. I mean, you might be lucky to see his whole body for stuff, but it's rare. That's not like the final fight scene. And in the final fight scene, that was perpetual darkness. And that didn't make sense either. And I and I really want you guys to think about this. For anyone who's actually <clears throat> for anyone who's actually seen the movie, if you notice that they have to set the bomb, still spoilers, they have to set the bomb and it's like an hour, hour and a half before it's supposed to go off. This is this is bright and early. Even when it starts to rain and it's cut and it's cloud coverage all over the city, it's still bright and early. You have an hour, an hour to an hour and a half for this bomb to go off, and it's still bright and early. It's like, okay, it's like, cool, we get to see some real action. It's still, it's still bright. There's plenty of time for us to get some real kick-ass monster engine. Nope. That, is, that was the fastest sunset ever in fucking history. I don't care if the power went out. The sun should not have come down that fast. There was no, there was no reason for that to happen. At all. I mean, why keep the biggest fight scene in Perpetual Dark? I had to watch on my TV. My TV kind of sucks when it comes to lighting. So I kept looking and trying to see, where's Godzilla? Is that it? Nope. That, that's the moth thing. Like, is, is that? no nope. Other moth thing. Fuck. Why keep it in darkness? Why, Hollywood? Are you saving? Does that save on money? Does it? Did you got? Did you guys run out of time and you're like, okay, fuck it, let's just shoot this whole scene in the dark. But it's it's, it's either complete another darkness or perpetual, or is that a complete another darkness or fucking smoke everywhere? But just why? Why keep Godzilla in the in the fucking dark like this? And like I said, there's not enough Godzilla. You spend way more time with the monsters that he's fighting, who aren't important. We've never seen him before. There's never been any past Godzilla anything. And you guys just why? Why such a? I mean, we get to see the monsters. I mean, we get to know the monsters better than Godzilla. We get to know the people in this film better than Godzilla. I don't care about the people. I want to see monsters hit each other in the face. That's the whole point of a Godzilla movie. You don't spend too much time on the people. I mean, yeah, you spend time on the people, but you don't spend that much time on the fucking people. Just put more Godzilla in a freaking Godzilla film. It's that simple. Oh, it's that simple.
Oh, and by the way, for since this is the same studio that owns King Kong and other big monster, giant monster movie franchises, let them fight. Let all those franchises fight, please. It would be awesome. As long as you don't keep it in fucking perpetual darkness, it's going to be cool. And that was my four biggest problems with Godzilla.